We're already seeing some of the snow to our northwest. Yeah, look at these live pictures here. CBS News Philadelphia's Ross DiMatte joining us live from Whitehall Township, just above Allentown. Oh, Ross, it looks brutal out there. Good morning. Good morning, guys. I hope you can see me through this thick, heavy snowfall that continues to just pound away at the Lehigh Valley. This has been falling now for nearly two hours, and uh, yeah, it's not pleasant to be out here, but it is good snowball snow, so I'll give you that. And we're expecting a traditional snow day for a lot of the kids here in the Lehigh Valley, with school being canceled already preemptively. I want to show you MacArthur Road. Uh, we're right along the side of it. This is one of the busier roads here in Whitehall in the Lehigh Valley, and you can see uh, this snow is already sticking to the road. It's been accumulating really since it started falling just before 4 a.m. I will say, though, with just how heavy the snow is, you would expect more to have accumulated by now, but that's a credit to a lot of the plows that have been out uh, very active this morning. We've seen them every five or ten minutes or so out here in the Lehigh Valley. So it seems like the valley was ready for this snowfall, but because it did start a little earlier than anticipated, some of the accumulation totals we're expecting could get as high as ten inches, maybe even a foot here in the Lehigh Valley. But going back to that original point I made about school, a lot of the districts have already canceled classes, and that includes online learning, too. So, guys, an old school snow day. You don't see that too often these days. A lot of the kids are going to be waking up happy here in the Lehigh Valley. I would just say uh, not a good day to stand out in it, although we'll continue to bring you live reports throughout the morning as we deal with this heavy, heavy snow that continues to fall in the Lehigh Valley. I'll send it back to you. All right. Already looking like a mess out there, Ross. Thank you so much for that.